Hi guys, sorry about the noise, but it's very hot and I have no air. So, this is my uh, TBR for the Ryan a thon. Ryan is hosting his own uh, read a thon. And I thought I'd join in. So, the first prompt is to read a book with red on the cover, which is Ryan's favorite color or your favorite color. But I'm already doing that for another read a thon. So I decided to go with a Chakra on Shock Street um, just because I need a short book for at least one of these to get through them. And I know it's not red red. It's, I mean, it's got red in there. It's like reddish orange. But yeah, red's in there. And I love Goosebumps. The next is to read one about a writer or having to deal with a writer or something like that. And this is one of the ones that he actually listed in um, the recommendation video. So I've heard a lot about this book, and I know it's a Netflix show. I have not seen the show just because I want to read the book first. So maybe this will be a good time to do that. I don't know too much about this, except that it's like about a stalker. So we'll see. The next is to uh, read a book by a transgender author or a book dealing with a transgender character in some kind of way. So I have picked Luna because I have access to it in both physical and audio format. And this is about a girl whose brother uh, Liam lives a secret life as a transgendered woman uh, named Luna. And I guess this is about, you know, her life with um, Luna or Liam, and we'll see how that goes. And the next one is to read a book about a pansexual character. So this is Upsider Unrequited, quiet, quieted, oh my god, I can't speak. And I don't know much about this book. I've heard more about the author's other work, but also this was listed again in the recommendations video and this is I'm guessing to do with a pansexual character since it was listed. I'm not sure if the main character is pan or if somebody else in the story is but I think it's actually pretty cool to see a pansexual character in a book. Next is a book about a bibliophile or um one that has book in the title, and here you can see that I have the book thief. I got this a little while ago, and I never picked it up, or I never read it. And I hear it's very emotional. Um, I hear some people like it, some people don't. <coughs> I guess it's got a very interesting narrator. Again, there's a movie, I have not seen it. But maybe I will watch the movie once I finish the book. I don't know too much more about it, except it's it takes place during the Holocaust, and there's this girl that gets adopted by another family, I believe. And then finally, Adventure. And I have The Lightning Thief, for Percy Jackson and the Olympians. So I've seen the movie when it came out, like on DVD or whatever. And I hear that it's nothing like the book. The book is more middle grade. And I know more people like the book and they really didn't like the movie. So I'm kind of curious to see. I enjoyed Harry Potter. And I know some people that like Harry Potter like this one. But this one is more of Greek mythology versus wizards or whatever. And I really like mythology. So 